Now, President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi is seeking a new mandate in a contest with little su suspense uh, to political observers. It appears clear that el-Sisi will win. The big question is, by how much? Edward Iranian has more from Cairo. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi seeks re-election after a four-year term that has seen some successes, including a Suez Canal expansion and the discovery of major offshore natural gas reserves. But he has also been buffeted by terror attacks against churches and mosques and a protracted war against insurgents in the Sinai and along the border with Libya. Sisi, who ousted his Islamist predecessor, Mohamed Morsi, after widespread turmoil, is admired by some who have rallied to support him and disliked by others who want Egyptians to boycott the election. Our group of opposition parties, tied to the civil democratic movement, chooses not to take part in the upcoming elections. In 2014, 25 million people voted, and President Sisi won 23.6 million of those votes. This year, some are disenchanted. People who stood there and said, we want to be involved in a process. They're not political, they're not Muslim Brotherhood, but they're regular citizens who want this country to be a democracy. Four years later, this is what we get. The president has called for a large turnout and urges Egyptians to be patriotic. Many of Egypt's African neighbors prefer Sisi to the Muslim Brotherhood, which they think has ties to terrorism. The African situation, especially in North Africa and, and, and uh, the Middle East, is very, very precarious, whereby you know people like our Sisi are now being favored because of their military stands against jihadist organizations. While the weak Egyptian economy is a drag for the president, some businessmen and public figures support him because of his pro-business stance. Supporters of Sisi's only opponent, Musa Mustafa Musa, rally in downtown Cairo to enliven the contest after several weightier opponents dropped out. It doesn't matter who wins. What matters is that Egypt wins. It was not until 2005 that Egypt had its first contested presidential election. Prior to that, it used to be referendums where we ended up with 99 point something for the president. It was a long struggle to take things where we finally had a proper election. It took a revolution to get there. Sisi is Egypt's fifth president since the monarchy was toppled in 1952. Four were military men. Edward Uranian for VOA News, Cairo.